where does space actually start? There's no hard wall or, or line or anything, but it's more of a gradual thinning of air as you go higher into the atmosphere. That's why scientists and agencies around the world define more of a boundary region than a hard line. The most famous of these is probably the carbon line at 100 kilometers, which is used by the Federation Aeronautic Internationale, which among other things is the group that certifies astronauts' records. 100 kilometers is about the height where there stops being enough stuff in the air to hold up something like a plane. And you can only stay aloft at this point by literally going fast enough to begin orbiting the planet. On the other hand, NASA and the US Air Force use 80 kilometers to define this boundary region. And they do that because this is the height at which, at least on average, the air stops behaving like normal air and really transitions to behaving more like space plasma. The International Space Station orbits much higher than all of this, uh, something around 400 kilometers. Yet it still feels this drag from the atmosphere, even at that height. And it happens so much so that they actually have to routinely raise their orbit by speeding up to compensate for how much they've deorbited due to drag. So while there isn't a hard line on where space begins, different groups uh, tend to label them at different altitudes based on what it is that they're trying to do or what they're trying to study.